Hello, I'm Dr. Karen with Embrace Life Ohm and Mother Core, and this is our first installment in our series on light and your health. As many of you are aware, we've been getting less healthy in the United States, so much so that since 2015, our life expectancy has been continuously declining. Now there's awareness that part of the problem is that we eat too much junk food and not enough real food. But there's less awareness that another very important part of the problem is that we've been absorbing a lot of junk light into our bodies instead of real light. Now the issue of what junk light is, is complicated by the time of day. Because for most of human history, it's been important to be awake, active, and working while the sun is up. For most of human history, it's also been the case that our environment is flooded with blue and green light only when the sun is up because our nighttime light, firelight, is both dim and very low in blues and greens. So our bodies have developed sensitive receptors for blue and green light. And when these lights are detected, we are in our active and get work done mode. Whereas when these lights are not detected, we go into our rest and repair mode. And a key part of rest and repair is release of a hormone called melatonin. And melatonin makes us sleepy and helps us get a proper night's sleep but it also cleans up cancer cells in our body, it helps fight infectious disease, it repairs DNA, and it repairs neuron cells, among many other functions. So if we're not getting our daily dose of melatonin, we will gradually fall, or more quickly, fall into a diseased state. Now, if we don't let it get dark at night, or we don't use firelight, and instead we use our modern light bulbs and our computer and television screens, we flood our environment with a lot of blue and green light that we don't need at that time of day, just like drinking the Coke floods us with more sugar than we need at that time. And when our body detects that blue and green light, it fails to make the adequate amount of melatonin. So using these lights at night are junky and deleterious for our health. Now during the day, we have a different situation because our body actually makes nutrients from full sunlight. When we're out in the full spectrum sunlight, including the infrared and the UV, it has many beneficial effects on our health, including making vitamin D, making nitric oxide, which helps to decrease our blood pressure, and making serotonin, which is also known as the happiness neurotransmitter. Another important part about serotonin is that it's actually the precursor to melatonin. So the serotonin that we make under bright sunlight during the day helps us make enough melatonin at night. So even if we properly turn off our lights at night, our melatonin won't be optimal unless we also get that sunlight during the day. Now instead of getting that sunlight during the day, we spend a lot of our time indoors. We're going to be under our light bulbs and our television screens, and these are very low spec, narrow spectrum, especially the fluorescent light, and don't give us the brightness and the broad spectrum that we need to make all the nutrition that we get from sunlight. So if you walk into your doctor's office and you say that you're not feeling happy and maybe you're tired or you're developing chronic or other illness, the doctor should prescribe more time in the sun and less time under artificial lighting. Instead, they may prescribe an antidepressant, which will be no more effective than sunlight but will have more side effects, or they may prescribe melatonin in pill form. Now, taking melatonin in pill form may seem like an easy out so that you don't have to replace all your light bulbs. But the problem is that the body has a natural melatonin rhythm, which I'm going to illustrate with this drum, where the rhythm should be picks up gradually in the evening, it peaks around 2 or 3 a.m., and then gradually declines again, leaving us ready to start our day. So like this. Now, if you take the melatonin in pill form, instead of having this rhythm, you're just hitting yourself with a huge dose of melatonin all at once. And studies have shown that this doesn't decay properly in the morning time, and it can offset your circadian rhythm into the next day. So taking the pill form is more like this. And it's not a proper replacement for your body to having the proper diet of light. Now, if you do choose to go to firelight at night, there is the obvious problem with candles that they drip wax and they can become a fire hazard if tipped over. So it's preferable to use an olive oil lamp. And this is cheap and efficient, and it's much less of a fire hazard because the olive oil itself doesn't burn. So if these are tipped over, uh, the olive oil usually puts the flame out. 
Thank you so much for watching and don't miss our companion film on how to make your own olive oil lamp.